Hello there, I'm Danny McKellop and I'm going to run you through my Photoshop tutorial today. Alright lads, let's just jump straight into it. So you can see over here, here's the brush tool. I'm just going to circle my mouse around it. And once you have the brush tool selected, you can see you can actually draw some colour here. Now, the edges are actually kind of soft, so see if you want to customise that, you can use the hardness slider. And that should actually, as you see there, it paints a lot thicker. There's less softer edges and... If you want to increase the size of the brush, you can drag that, and it's a lot bigger. And if you want to see the effects of the hardness, uh, I'll adjust it here. You can see it's a lot softer in the edges, and that's really nice if you actually want to like blend colors together and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to put the size here now, and I'll show you how to change the color. You can go to here, and it's all red. You can use this all bar. You can slide up and down for other colors, like purple or blue or teal blue, green, whatever you're wanting. You can see there you go, got a blue color. Alright, so now that we have the blue paint colour here, I'm going to show you some effects you can do with the brush. So, first, these are all the effects you have selected for you, and if you just go to dissolve, what you're able to do is you can, like, shift the brush around, you see it's got this little, like, the pixels are already spread, it really looks like it's actually dissolved. You click here, and behind, and that puts it behind the layer, you see, so you can actually color, put colours behind images if you really want it to. The clear one's an odd one because it almost works like an eraser tool, it just puts white on it no matter what colour you have. And then if we go down here, there's a lot of effects here that you're able to play with, but there's a few I think are important to talk about, and there's one here called the overlay. And it pretty much, as you see, it puts colour on top of it, so you can make these, this jean texture I have here a lot darker. Yeah, I'm going to increase the size here. If you go over it now, the more you dampen into it, the darker the colour will be, so... You can make it either look realistic or you can keep going, it almost looks like Homer Simpson's jeans. And you can see here, we'll just uh, remove all this here. Alright, so now that we've actually uh, checked out that effect of the overlay, we're going to look at something here with brush settings. Now, at the right, I've actually had the menu open the whole time there, but if you actually want to find this, these are the two options you have, brush presets and brush settings. So we'll take a look at the presets quickly. If you open up general brushes, those are like some basic brushes. Then we've got the dry media brushes. They've got some really weird effects. I personally don't use them, but it's up to you if you actually want to give them a spin, see if you like them. Then we've got the special effects brushes. If you want to do some really crazy blotches and kind of almost Bob Ross-like art. And you can see you make your own groups if you want to keep the presets together. You can also save your own preset, and you've got a bin here to delete presets. And it's simply done by clicking and then hit the bin, and actually you actually delete a preset if you're making it. You just don't like it anymore. So now I've got the brush settings, and now we're going to take a look at the first one, shape dynamics. Now I'm going to adjust here the size jitter and look at the preview, and there's not much effect because my brush is rather big. So I'll try and size it in a little bit, and as you can see, the uh, this is what the effect you know actually looks more noticeable. And size up a little bit here. We'll go over here and we'll try some of the other ones, like minimum diameter. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be doing much. Nor is the angle jitter. It's you kind of have to fiddle about with some of these here till you get settings that you actually really like. And I'm only going to explain a few because going through them will be rather hard. So we'll look at the scatter here. And it spreads the pixels and then it almost makes it when you go to do it, it's like a little like, bubble effect. And we can increase the count, the number of the little bubbles in the effect. And we can do the same as the last time, like a jitter in them, so it almost delays when they're actually put down. And let's see, we'll take a little look here. Now you can turn any of these settings on and off at will just by clicking the tick box. Once it's ticked, it'll apply it, unticked, it'll remove it. And with that in mind, I'm going to let you go now. I hope this tutorial was actually useful. And if you don't mind, like, favourite and subscribe. And share, the, share this here channel with your friends. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for tuning in to my Photoshop tutorial. I hope you've learned something today. And I really hope you can maybe like and share and subscribe to this YouTube channel.